channel I had already filmed this one other time before but I just hated the way my face looked is that weird that sounds weird I filmed it right when I had got home from the drugstore and I didn't use any of the stuff and it was all brand new to me so it was just like bluntly a haul but now I actually use some of this stuff and I used a lot of it today so it's gonna kind of be like a first impressions type of thing like I really want to try those Rimmel Provocalypse where it has like the one the color on the one side and then the other side's like the clear gloss and it's supposed to like stain your lips and stay on your lips all day and not transfer I need those in my life but my CVS didn't have those so I don't know what the deal was with that but I did get something in the mail because I'm a CVS uh, extra buck you know I have like the little card um, I'm a member there and I always shop there so I got three dollars off this L'Oreal Infallible Pro spray and set and uh, yeah so I got three dollars off and I think it's about 16 bucks I hear this is um, comparable if not better than comparable to if not better than the Urban Decay setting spray and I love that one but this is just um, a finishing spray you don't put it on you know how like with the Urban Decay one you spray it and then do your makeup and then spray it after this you just spray on um, like right after your makeup so yeah but you do get a lot in here and I heard that it's better than the Urban Decay from Tati the Glam Life Guru I talk about her all the time I just feel like I don't know her word is bond anything she says I just believe and you get a lot in here to give you like a true review I'm gonna have to like use it a little bit more I have really watery eyes and my makeup tends to kind of fade away throughout the day and I haven't had a setting spray in a couple weeks so we'll see how this goes. I'm going to work tonight, so we'll see if it actually makes my um, makeup stay. So I got that, and then it was for the CoverGirl, CoverGirl Eye stuff, buy one, get one half off, and I got this, I needed a new mascara, so I got the Bombshell Volume Lash Blast, and it came with the little baby of the cream bronzer, the True Magic Sun Kisser bronzer, and I remember um, Abby Espen shade, color sweat beauty she always used to talk about this last year when it came out um this isn't a new product i do believe the bombshell volume is i love the original i love covergirl mascaras um maybelline ones i don't like but the covergirl ones i love so yeah so i got this and i used this today like i remember wanting this this is just like a little trial size or or like a little deluxe a smaller size i wouldn't call it deluxe i don't know how deep the pan goes or anything but um, yeah, so I'll just go ahead and swatch it. It's nice and creamy. If you have, uh, there's a swatch right there. It, yeah, if you have e.l.f.'s Contour and Blush and Bronzing Cream in uh, St. Lucia, these are good. Um, I remember loving this cream bronzer, but it's so dark, and I remember I thought it looked good a couple videos ago. Um, I don't know. It is, like, a little, it's a lot too dark for my skin tone, and I feel like the lighter skin tones can pull off the CoverGirl one way better. Um, that's just my personal opinion. Now everybody's talking about, like, oh, to contour, you need, like, a grayer, cooler toned shade as opposed to, like, these warmer toned shades, but I'm just, like, I'm thinking, um, you know, we've been contouring here on YouTube for years now, and we've always just used, like, the bronzier shade. This is, like, a new rule, and I feel like everybody's like, oh, yeah, this is how you're supposed to do it, and this is how I've always been doing it. No, you haven't. Okay. So, anyway, whatever. I mean, I'm just saying. It would be nice to try out some of the cooler tone um, contour powders and creams and all those. But for now, I don't know. I feel like it looks fine. I don't know. But anyway, so, yeah, I used that today, and I used it with uh, my Sigma F. 84 and this is from the Sigmax collection and then over top of that because you are supposed to set um, cream products with a powder and especially like a contour it would be a great idea too. Right over top of that I use the Revlon Bronze and Chic from the Photo Ready line and this is just a matte um, bronzer or contour whatever you want to call it. So yeah and I don't know. Yeah, so I I remember talking about this. I love this. If you can find this, pick it up. Great, like, matte bronzer for 
contouring at the drugstore. Love it. So yeah, I use that. And then, what else did I get? Oh, let's talk about the mascara real quick. Um, okay, so you have two sides to it. Normally, I don't like these dual-ended, um, like, mascaras. I don't know. They're just, like, not my thing. So anyway, the very first one is a more of, like, a creamier mascara, and the brush is reminiscent of Lash Blast. And it's a plastic brush, so you just put that on. I went ahead and used two coats of that. And then, on the other side, you have an incredibly wetter, yeah. Oh, it was like a lot more wet, but now it's like, I don't know, since I've used it, maybe. Whatever. Um, You get like a mascara one that's more traditional, and then you go ahead and put that right on top of the step one. I used two coats of step one and then a coat of step two and then on the bottom lash line I did um, just the number two and I noticed if I just used the second one that my eyelashes were incredibly long so it really does lengthen and also separates I would say and I feel like this is just number one is just lash blast so I don't know but um yeah, so anyway, I went ahead and put that on. I had no problems with this eye. It lengthened, it separated. This eye, it got like all over my lid. And I don't know if you could tell, I tried to like fix it. Um, I hope I did a good job, but it got like everywhere on my lid. So yeah, I don't know. It's, I'm on the fence. It's just a mascara. I don't know. I was surprised to see how much it got on the lid. But see, I'm left-handed, so it's like hard for me to do my mascara over there. So I don't know, it could just be me. And then, since it was buy one, get one half off, I got this CoverGirl, let me find the package, Bombshell Intensity Liner. I needed a new liquid liner really bad, and I seen this, it was buy one, get one half off, and it's a lot like the Milani one. You shake it up just like that, and I love that Milani uh, liquid liner, and the Milani one comes in a gold tube, so I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. But yeah, it's incredibly black. It's an intense liner. I'm wearing it today. You can get a really nice, precise line. And I feel like, yeah, it dries down matte. And it dries nicely. I'm hoping it's not going to smudge. This is the first day I used it. And I just did my makeup a little bit ago. So we'll see when I go outside if my eyeliner stays put. Because that's one problem I have. My eyes water really bad. And my eyeliner just goes. I cannot use. I love that NYC one, but I cannot use that because it just gets everywhere. It doesn't stay put. I got some lip products. I really wanted those Rimmel, the Rimmel ones that I was talking about earlier. My CVS didn't have those. I don't know. It was weird. I don't know. Sometimes they don't get like the new, new stuff right away. But anyway, I seen Milani had their new uh, matte lip creams or matte lip colors. I'm not sure what they're calling them. Yeah, but anyway, they come in a gold tube like this, and the first two that stood out to me was Matte Blissful. It's a really pretty, um, just like an almost nude pink. So I'll go ahead and swatch that for you. Yeah, and these, they call them a matte formula, but I would call them more of a creamy formula. They don't dry out the lips, and yeah, I mean, they go on maybe, they're not like glossy by any means, but... They don't dry out the lips at all. They feel really creamy. So, yeah. And I love the packaging, by the way. But this is 62 Matte Blissful. And I'm actually wearing that today over top of a lip liner I'm going to talk about. And then I got Matte Naked. And this is just like, you know, that Kylie Jenner, that mauve, that deep nude that everybody's loving. So, yeah. Two really pretty colors. Um, I have a feeling these are going to be my new favorite lipsticks from the drugstore. Really, really, really great. Over top of that, I went ahead, since Milani was doing buy one, get one half off, well, all the lip products from L'Oreal, Rimmel, Milani, Revlon, all the lip products, it was buy one, get one half off. You can mix and match. So I actually ended up getting a dollar one, which was stupid, but I really wanted it. So anyway, um, yeah, I got a Milani color statement lip liner in 04 All Natural. Again, great packaging. And I feel like this is a perfect match for the matte naked this lip stick right here um so yeah perfect match a little bit darker but I feel like they really complement each other really well today I'm wearing this and then just to um 
you know, make it not look so, I don't want to say like warm it up, but you know, like just make it a little bit brighter, a little bit more wearable for me. Um, I don't know. I did, I do like to wear this. I wore it the other day, but on camera, I just feel like something more of like a pink color looks better on me. So yeah, I wore, I'm wearing the lip liner and then the pink, what is it? Matte Blissful. And I feel like, I don't know, with a lip liner, you can like pick any color and then you can kind of dictate where that color is going. You know what I mean? You don't have to go with the exact shade in a lipstick. You can, you know, kind of like make it look a little bit more not necessarily wearable. I don't want to say like brighter, but maybe brighter. So yeah, just, I don't know. Give a little bit more because it kind of washes me out that one color, but I still like it anyway. So whatever. And then I had uh, Wet n Wild reformulated some of their lipsticks. I don't know. This looks like new packaging to me. And I just got, uh, oh, it's 503C. It's not 903C. Whatever. I always hear everybody talk about 903C, so I really wanted it but I didn't even get it, but I like this color anyway, and I'll just go ahead and swatch this right next to the um, Matte Blissful. So yeah, there's that, and this one is, so yeah, you can kind of see like with the matte, uh, the Milani matte lip colors, they are more mattified than something like the Wet n Wild one. The Wet n Wild lipsticks that come in this package are really creamy. The other ones that they have are incredibly dry. Like, I wouldn't even call them matte. They're just dry. But they're pigmented, so I don't know. And they're a buck, so what do you want? But anyway, this seems really creamy. Um, more of a glossy finish, but I would never call it a glossy finish if it wasn't next to those matte shades. So yeah, I'm really digging those matte lip colors. Um, I went to the mall. I really wanted a new face mask, and I would really wanted to try the Origins face masks, but the lady was like, well, you know, why don't you just, like, try a couple before you commit to anything. So I got the Origins face mask in Ginseng, and I've used this a couple times. It's like a gel. I think it has, like, cool cum cucumber and stuff, and it's supposed to, like, kind of, um, you know calm down your face because like my face gets irritated not irritated but like I just break out sometimes I have this one um wrinkle that like I don't know it's really weird but I t I cover it up pretty well with primer and then like I don't know I just my skin is just uneven and I just it needs like a refreshment you know what I mean so she gave me the ginseng I can't say I'm in love with it um I kind of started breaking out like I had like little blackheads the first time I used it so I went ahead and used it again and because I you know people were like well sometimes you just have to keep on using things like that but I unfortunately only have like two more uses left so I don't know like with my favorites video I'll go ahead and speak on this again when I'm fully done with it I really did however like the drink up this is just a cream it just feels like a heavy moisturizer um Think of a hair mask for your face when you're thinking of drink up. It's just like a denser, heavier moisturizer that you eventually, you wash your face, you put it on, and then I like to leave it on for as long as possible and then rinse it off because it just like to soak it up, you know what I mean? Like it moisturizes really well because my face has also been like super, super dry. I used this last night and it really just moisturized my face so well. Also went to Sally's Beauty Supply. They had the finger paint um, nail polishes for buy one get one free. Yeah, I these two glitters stood out to me. You know me and glitters, like they're my life. I always have to have a glitter. I feel like I buy more glitters than regular shades. Yeah, I got what? Da Bignies? Da Bignies Garden. Okay. But yeah, this just like caught my eye. Such a beautiful like mermaid shade. I kept on saying mermaid nails, mermaid nails when I was wearing it. So pretty, right? How gorgeous is that? And I ended up wearing it, and you have to have, like, um, you know, like a cream color underneath it, like a solid color underneath it, because this isn't as opaque as you would want it to be. Um, you know, you need a few coats of these, of this, to get it, you know, like, built up to look like that. And then also, this one, however, is another story. This is such a fake and I actually Instagram this whoops I um yeah I this I wasn't even sure if I wanted this one I'm so glad I got it because I like it better than the garden one why did where did they get garden they should have like said mermaid something I don't know but anyway um 
yeah, this is two coats that I'm wearing today. And look how opaque those that is. So it's a really pretty duochrome champagne color with just like different colored glitters in it. And I am loving it. So yeah. But yeah, that's everything. I was going to share what I got at Michael's because I went kind of crazy. Well, not crazy, but I got some really good deals there. So yeah, I don't know. I'll probably film that another day or maybe after this. Let's see what time it is. Oh yeah, I gotta go to work soon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.